stop. Do you have a child with autism or a toddler showing signs who will not give up their pacifier? I have some tips. First of all, determine when you and the child need the pacifier the most. Write down those times. Next, get a box, a shoe box. You can even decorate it. Call it a binky box or a passy box or whatever you call the pacifier. And have the child during, like after nap time, for instance, put their pacifier in the passy box. And slowly, gradually wean out pacifiers. You gotta make a plan and it's really important, not just for talking, it's also important for problem behaviors and even for your teeth, your baby teeth, as well as your permanent teeth to get rid of the pacifiers after the age of one. Follow me for more.